Hi, today we're going to be looking at 2015 PAT paper and looking at question 11. Question 11. Question 11 concerns projectile motion. The question says, an object is projected off of a cliff at 10 meters per second at 30 degrees to the horizontal. The cliff is 10 meters above the level of the beach and it wants us to find the time it takes for the object to reach the beach. So with questions like this, the best approach is to always list out our five important variables. S, displacement from the origin, i.e. the displacement the object, of the object from the place from, of which it was launched. U, its initial velocity. V, its final velocity. A, the acceleration. And T, the time taken. For this question, we will define negative, the downward direction, sorry, to be positive. The reason for this is because, well, our acceleration is pointed downwards, our displacement is going to be downward, so it will keep, it will remove more minus signs than if we were to define upwards to be the positive direction. So let's think about what these values are. So S is our displacement in the vertical direction from where the object was launched. So vertically, although the object is going to be going up and across, it will only have moved 10 meters, plus 10 meters, because downwards is positive, when it lands on the beach. So our S is 10. Our U, well, we know that it's launched upwards, so that's a negative value, at 10 meters per second. So we have this at an angle of 30 degrees. We know that our U is the vertical component that we can we can say with the vertical component of the motion. So we know that sine of 30 will be the opposite over the hypotenuse, and sine 30 is one half. So that will be equal to opposite u over minus 10. Therefore, u is in fact minus 5 meters per second. v we don't know, but we're not actually concerned with v. It won't come into our equations. a we know is plus 10 meters per second to the minus 2, and t is what we're trying to calculate. So we look at our SUVAT equations now, and we look at what we have and what we don't know. So we have S, we have U, and we have A, and we're trying to find T. So the equation that springs to mind is S equals UT plus one half AT squared. If we sub in our values, we get that 10 equals minus 5T plus one half times 10, 5T squared. Dividing by 5, we get that t squared minus t equals 10, or t squared minus t minus 10 equals 0. Apologies here. This should be a 2. Let's just divide 10 by 5 to give us 2. Well, this can be factorized to give us t minus 2, t plus 1 equals 0 which tells us t equals minus 1 or 2. Well, clearly time is greater than or equal to 0. Time cannot be a negative value. So we know the final answer is the rock takes t equals 2 seconds.